to Level Up with Chef Brenda. This rice cookery video has been brought to you in collaboration with USA Rice. Rice is one of the most versatile and well-liked food item in so many home kitchens. It falls in many cultural diets, it's inexpensive, and it's shelf stable. So today I am going to show you some easy cooking methods. But first, let's see where rice is grown in the USA. The U.S. rice industry produces 20 billion pounds of rice annually. When you purchase U.S. grown rice, you are supporting many multi-generational family farms. There are six rice growing states in America, including Arkansas, California, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, and Texas. U.S. grown rice is high quality, consistent, sustainable, and provides natural habitats for wildlife. There are three cooking methods that are so easy to use in a home setting that I wanna show you today. The first one is in the oven, the second one is stovetop, and the third one is using a rice cooker. So the first way is using a pan in the oven. So I'm going to show you one cup of rice, which will give us six half cup servings. The first thing I do is I like to use a glass pan, but you don't have to use a glass pan. The reason why is because I can see exactly when it's done. First, I spray it with some oil, just some pan spray, and then I add one cup of rice and two cups of hot water. It doesn't have to be hot, but when you use hot, it cooks just a little bit faster. So the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is put foil over the top. And we wanna make sure that this is sealed very tight because we don't want the water to boil out. We want it to absorb into the rice. So then we're going to place it in our home oven that has been preheated to 400 degrees and we will wait until all of the water is absorbed into the rice. The next cooking method is the stovetop cooking method. So the first thing you wanna do is add your hot water or you could add your water and bring it to a boil. It will cook a little bit faster if you do it that way. So once you add that, then you're gonna go ahead and add your rice. Then you're going to give it a little bit of a stir. You don't want any dry spots in there. Now you're going to want to turn your water up on high and then you're going to let it boil. Once it comes up to a rolling boil, then you want to give it a, just one stir. You don't want to stir it too much because you're going to agitate those starches and then your rice will become very sticky. So I'm just then going to put my lid on and I'm going to turn the heat down very, very low. Now in these videos, I am showing you long grain brown rice. This also works for long grain white rice. Next, we're going to cook in our rice cooker. Rice cookers are very awesome, but they're very specific. They are such a fail-proof way of making rice because all you do is stick the rice and water in, you close the lid, and you press the button. My rice cooker is a little bit more complicated because it gives you a lot of different options, but there are rice cookers that just have one button that is power on and then power off. What's great about the rice cooker is it tells you exactly how much rice and how much water you should put in and it also has a little guide with some numbers inside, so that helps you as well. So what's great about the rice cooker is that you just put the rice and the water or liquid, whatever liquid you're using, then you close the rice cooker and you press start. I'm gonna press brown rice because that's what I'm cooking is brown rice, and then you just wait for it to beep. So easy, cooks to perfection, yay. So the rice that I'm using in the, these three cooking methods is long grain brown rice. There are so many different kinds of rice. There's long grain, there's medium grain, and there's short grain. It comes in brown rice and white rice. There are tons of different varieties. And there is also parboiled rice, which means it's partially cooked already, so it doesn't take as long to cook. 
And then there's instant rice. So in those cases, you definitely wanna read the package and make sure that you're following the directions to cook the rice just perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna put this in the oven. We're gonna let this continue to boil and let this continue to cook. And I'll see you back in a few minutes. Okay, our rice is done using the three cooking methods, so let's check it out. So each one of these used one cup, which is one ounce per serving, so they make six half cups. So here we have the oven method. You wanna be very careful when removing this foil because there's a lot of steam in here and steam burns skin very easily, so please be careful. So you're going to remove the foil I see it's very hot. Oh, it is beautiful though. It looks beautiful. So what you want to do, if you're not going to serve it right away, you could just make little holes in here and kind of just fluff it up a little bit and let it set for a couple of minutes to let some of that steam out and then the grain will start to separate a little bit. So this took 45 minutes to cook in my home oven at 400 degrees. Convention, not convection, convention oven. Okay, so then I did the stovetop. I do like to use a glass lid because I can watch and see when it is done. It's not required, but it is a really nice feature. So here we have our stovetop rice, which took about 30 minutes. So again, you can just come in here and sort of fluff it up a little bit um, before service. And then we have the easy peasy rice cooker. It did take about 45 minutes in the rice cooker. So the rice cooker and the oven, they take a little bit longer, but really these two methods are pretty fill proof, very easy to use. So I'm just gonna open it here. I haven't opened it yet. Woo, very hot, see all that steam? So it's really awesome because you, again, you can just go in here with your fork, let the steam out so it doesn't burn your hand, and then just kind of fluff it up with your fork again. So here we have another three cups, which is six half cup servings. What's so wonderful about rice is there's so many different things we can do. It's great as a side dish, but it's also wonderful as an entree. It's wonderful in stir fries, in bento boxes, all those bowls that are so popular and the wraps and the salads, the, the possibilities are endless. Rice is also extremely healthy. It offers 15 vitamins and minerals. It's also naturally gluten-free. It doesn't have any saturated fat or cholesterol and there's no sodium. So it's such a great item to add to our menus when we're looking for healthy options. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to download the recipe that's attached to this video. Yummy.